Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me this morning. We're going to go over uh, the Ashtanga primary system. Let's start from seated. Find a nice, comfortable cross legged position. Place your hands onto your knees. Close your eyes. Begin to take full deep breaths in and out through the nose. So as you inhale, you're going to lengthen your spine. You're going to grow tall. Lift deep from the chest, expanding the lungs. And as you exhale, keep the lips sealed like fogging a mirror. Push all the air out. Turn into the breath. Feeling inside of the body. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears, lengthen the crown of the head towards the ceiling. So as you inhale, there's a slight smile on your upper palate. So even if you want to smile with the lips sealed as you inhale through the nose, Exhale, lips are sealed, making a noise, but with the lips sealed, pushing all the air out. Try to find a nice rhythm in your breathing. One more breath. Slowly begin to open the eyes. And let's begin with our Surya Namaskars to warm up the body. So come to standing at the top of your mat. Bring your big toes together and your hands by your side. We're going to start with our opening mantra, call and response. Take a deep inhale. Slowly exhale. Engage your legs. Lift from the chest. Reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Draw the navel and ribs in. Start engaging your bandhas, lifting the pelvic floor. Om. Vande Gurunam. Charanaravinde. Sandarashita. Swatma Sukhavabode. Sreyase Jangali Kayamane Samsara Hala Hala Oha Shantye Avahu Purushakaram Shanchachakrasi Naharinam Sahasta Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patanjali Om Samasiddhi, arms by your side, standing at attention, feet together, slightly gazing forward. Take a couple breaths here, relaxing into the posture. Okay, come inhale, reach your hands up. You're going to press the palms. You're going to reach, gaze up at your thumbs. Do okay, exhale, slowly fold forward. Even if you need to bend the knees, bring the hands down and curl your head in toward your body. Tree me, inhale, lift the chest, extend your spine. Chatwari, exhale, we're going to lower down to Chaturanga. You can stay here from a high plank or lower down from the knees. On an exhale, inhale, upward facing, lift the chest, or you can keep the legs down. Exhale, hips up, shots, downward facing, five deep breaths here. So are your hips, five deep breaths here. So we're focusing on our breathing, the posture, and our dristi, our gazing point. Full deep breathing, two more breaths. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, reach up. 
gaze up. Exhale, Samasiddhi here. We do it again. Yay, yeah, come inhale, reach. Okay, exhale, fold. Find the rhythm of your breath. Tree, inhale, head up. Lift your chest. Exhale, lowering down. Chakaranga Dandasana. Keep the elbows to, close to the body. Kancha, inhale, upward facing. Lift your chest. Gaze up at the tip of the nose. And shots. Exhale, hips up. Now gazing towards the navel. So find that steady, comfortable position. Stay. Five breaths. Feel the breath moving the body. Sending the heels back. If your hamstrings are tight, you can slightly bend your knees. Otherwise, send the heels back and push the mat away with the hands. One more breath. Five. Sapta, step your feet forward. Inhale, head up, lengthen. Exhale, ashto, fold. Nava, inhale, reach up, gaze at your thumbs, straight elbows if you can, exhale, sama siddhi. Again, yay, come, inhale, reach. Okay, exhale, slowly fold, empty the breath as you fold. Inhale, tree, head up, lift the chest. Exhale, lowering down, you can jump or step. Pancha, inhale, upward shots, exhale, downward face. Rearrange the feet or hands if you need to. Then find that comfortable position and stay. Five breaths. Turning into the Ujjayi breath. Breathing with sound. Tuning into your body. Two more breaths. Ashto. Exhale. Folding forward. Nada, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, Sama Siddhi, arms by the side. Again, yay, come inhale, reach. Yay, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, head up. Chatwari, exhale, lower. Pancha, inhale. Lift the chest, engage your legs. Shots, exhale, hips up, five more breaths, downward facing. Tuck the chin to the chest. Breathe deeply here, settling in. Noticing where you can relax and where you need to engage. Maybe relax your face. Engage the legs. One more breath. Five. Stop the step or jump. Inhale, head up, ashto, exhale to fold. Nava, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, samasiddhi, one more, yekum, inhale. Lift, reach, today, exhale, slowly fold, head in. Trini, inhale, lift the chest, extend. Chatwari, step or jump. Chataranga, exhale, lower. Hold if you can, inhale, upward facing, or you come all the way down. Exhale, downward facing. Five more breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, suck the stepping or jump the feet forward. Inhale, head up, ashto. Exhale, folding four. Nava, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, sama siddhi. Surya namaskar B. Starting with our chair pose. Inhale, bend into the knees first. Reach up. So I'm squeezing my palms together and my knees together, and I'm pushing down, but I'm lifting up. Exhale, fold forward. Roll over the hips. Draw the head in. Even if you need to bend the knees, Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Engage the legs, pointing the toes. Exhale, shots, hips up, downward face. Step your right foot forward for Vida Bhadrasana. Pivot the back heel so the heel is down. On an inhale, you reach up, find the stability, then reach, press the palms. 
Exhale, lowering down. One breath per movement, ideally, but if you need extra breaths, you take them. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Then we do the other side. Left foot, step. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Chaturanga Dandas. Inhale, upward facing. Chaturanga Shaw. Exhale, hips up. Five breaths here. Stay. Downward facing. Gazing towards the navel. Slowing and deepening your breath. Stimulating our vagus nerve. Our tenth largest cranial nerve that runs through our brain all the way down to our visceral organs. And when we chant, hum, or deep breathe, it stimulates that and causes a nice calming response. So stay with your breath. Five. Punch it a shawl, step or jump your feet forward, head up. Show it a shawl, exhale, folding forward. Soft it a shot, inhale, bend into the knees, reach up, back to chair pose. Gaze at the thumbs, exhale, samasiddhi. Again, yay, come, inhale, bend into the knees, reach. They exhale, folding forward. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen. Chatwadi, step or jump, exhale, lower. Pancha, inhale, upward, point your toe. And shots, exhale, downward face. Stop the right foot. Inhale, reach. Ashto, exhale, lowering down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Nama, inhale, upward facing. Gasha, exhale, downward face. Kasha, left foot. Inhale, reach. Wadasha, exhale, lowering down. Chaturanga. Set up the Chaturanga. Ayodasha, inhale. Chaturasha, exhale, five breaths. Downward facing. Again, slowing and deepening the breath, settling into the posture. And remember, if you ever get tired during your Sukhya Namaskars or need a little rest, you can just drop your knees, come to child's pose, reconnect. Otherwise, you stay in your downward facing for five breaths. Two more here. Five, punch it a shot, stepping or jumping forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, bend into the knees, reach up. Exhale, samasitihi, one more. Yeah, come inhale, bend into the knees, reach. Okay, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, Trini, head up. Exhale, lowering down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Remember, you can lower down from the knees. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stop the right foot for Vida Badrasana. One breath here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lowering down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, hips up, downward face. Other side, left foot, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing, or you come to child's pose, five breaths. Feel the breath, move the body. See how deep, smooth and fluid you can breathe, finding that rhythm of the breath. Letting the breath energize you, but also soothe you. Five, Pancha Shaw, step or jump the feet forward on an inhale, head up, shoulder Shaw, exhale, folding forward. Sapta Shaw, inhale, bend into the knees, reach up. Exhale, Samasiddhi. All right, so traditionally we do five A's, three B's. Now we're going to move on to our standing postures. Arahastasana, step or jump the feet to hip distance apart. Catch your big toes with the first two fingers and thumb, your peace fingers. So even if you need to bend the knees, wrap it around. Inhale, lift the chest, extend first. Exhale, dve, folding forward, reach the head down. 
elbows can be pointing back or even out to the side. Just don't create any tension in the neck or shoulder. Just let the head just hang. We're hollowing in the tummy area. We have strong legs and we're breathing here five times. With every exhale, closing the space. As you push your big toe knuckle down, you're slightly lifting with the fingers, engaging the wrist. Five. Inhale, tree head up. Lift, extend, exhale there. Padahasasana, bring the palms under, toes next to the wrist crease or as far as you can get. Again, yay, come inhale, lengthen. Bay, exhale, fold. Press the toes onto the wrist, reach the crown of the head down. Strong legs. Once again, finding where you can engage and where you can relax. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there, hands on the waist. Inhale, come all the way up, strong legs as you come up. Exhale, Sama CBD. Standing at attention at the top of the mat, feet together, arms by your side. Utita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Yay, come step out on, step out to the right on an inhale. And then today, exhale, catch your big toe, shin, or ankle. But I want you to extend and reach towards the wall first. And maybe you catch your shin today, your ankle, or you catch the big toe with the first two fingers and thumb and reach up. Five breaths here. Squeeze your legs together, but keep reaching up, opening up at the chest. Five, inhale, coming up. Use the breath to lift you, pivot your feet. Exhale, reaching for the other side, Chatwari. Reach, catch, and then gaze up at your fingertips or thumb. Keep breathing. If you have the toe, you're slightly pulling onto the toe, lifting from the ribs and reaching the right hand up towards the ceiling. One more breath. Five. Pancha. Inhale. Come up. Pivot around. Four B. We want to square our hips and shoulders. Our right leg is forward. Our left hand up. Inhale. Reach first. Up. Forward. This right hip goes back. You're going to either press into the shin or ankle. If you can't reach down to the mat, you can stay right here. Or you're going to press into the mat next to your pinky toe. Press to open and then reach your right hand up. You can also use a block if you have a block. Stay focused on your breathing. Focusing on your bandhas, lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the navel in. Five, gaze down. Inhale to come up, using the breath to lift you, pivoting around to the other side, right hand up. Inhale here, reach, exhale, folding, twist, press, open, reach up, gaze up, five breaths. Gaze down, five, inhale, come up, open out to the side. Exhale, Sama Siddhi. Come back to the top of the mat. Utita Parvotanasana. Yay, come step out to the right, but wider. Dre, exhale, bend into your right leg. Right hand down, left hand reaching. A nice modified version is bringing your forearm to the top of the thigh and reaching. You can stay here and then work your way down. If you're coming down, your hips have to go down and forward. Connect the shoulder knee together. Press them together. Squeeze that together so you can open and roll your chest up. And you're going to gaze at your fingertips. Your palm is facing down. Pressing into the back foot. Reaching and extending and breathing deeply throughout the whole practice. Five. Inhale. Coming up. Exhale. Other side. Left hand down. Right arm reaching. Remember your modified version if you need to. <laughs> Keep breathing deeply. Five. 
five. Inhale, coming up. Let's do our twisted version. Pivot around. You can drop your left knee. Take your left hand and reach it up first. On an inhale, we're going to lengthen. Twist the torso. Bring your shoulder or your elbow on the outside of your leg. So if this is difficult, you can stay right here. You can do a nice side prayer. It's not a shtanga, but it is a nice modified version to get to the full posture. If you want to try, you're going to bring your left hand down and right arm reaching. You can also stay right here with the knee down. Otherwise, I'm going to lift up that back leg, but find the connection with the shoulder knee first. So you're going to tuck the toes, and you're going to pivot your heel, and you're going to reach. A few more breaths here. And five, inhale, come up. Pivot around, drop your right knee now. We're going to twist to the left. Inhale here. Remember your options for your modified version. Exhale, twist. Set it up. And then breathe five times. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, coming up, open out to the side, exhale, Samasipihi, come back to the top of the mat. All right, moving on to our prasaritas, Padatanasana, A, B, C, and D. So ideally we step out to the right today, I'm going to step out to the left just so y'all can see me face on. Hands on your waist. Inhale here. Lift the chest. Exhale. Hands down to the mat. Another inhale. Lengthen. Gaze forward. And then exhale. Fold. Reach the head toward the mat. And then walk your hands back. So even if your head is not touching, it could be just dangling. You could do that as well. Just keep the hands down and keep reaching the head down slowly. It may or may not touch. And that's okay. What's very important is just focusing on the breathing. Postures will come later. Focus on the breath. Keep the legs strong. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale there. Hands on your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale there. B. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, hands on the waist. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall, lift the chest. Exhale, keep the hands on the waist, slowly folding forward. Reaching the head down. The head could be dangling or you reach the head all the way down. Your toes are pointing forward or slightly pigeon-toed in. You're pressing the outer edges of your feet and you're lifting the insteps of your feet. Your shoulders away from the ears. And you breathe here deeply in and out five times. Five, inhale, come all the way up. Use the breath to lift you. Exhale there. C, inhale, arms out. Exhale, clasp the hands. Inhale, lengthen the arms away. Open the chest. Exhale, slowly folding forward. Reaching the crown of the head down and reaching the arms away. So you may be here or eventually with time, the hands go behind the back. Touching the ground behind me. Wherever you're at, just breathe deeply. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands on the waist for D. Inhale here. Lift the chest. Exhale, slowly fold. Catch your big toes, first two fingers and thumb. Inhale, lift the chest, extend. Exhale, folding forward, head reaching, elbows pointing out to the side, engaging the wrist. Head is still lengthening down. Once again, the head may or may not touch. Just keep with your breath. Full deep breathing in and out. Five. 
five. Inhale, head up. Exhale out all the air there. Bring your hands to the waist. Strong legs. Inhale, coming up. Exhale there. Sama CPP. Come back to the top of the mat. All right, Parva Votanasana, we're going to take our hands into a reverse namaste. I like to bring my fingertips up the small of my back and wiggle, wiggle them up. Palms touch and then elbows pointing back. Another nice modified version is just bringing the fists together. You're still getting the same rotation. Otherwise, you can also catch your wrist or your elbows. So let's begin. Take your hand position, whichever one you choose for today. Step out to the right on an inhale, yanka. Dve, exhale, fold over your right leg slowly. Keep reaching the head towards your toes, drawing your right hip back, keeping the legs nice and strong as you breathe here deeply in and out. Five deep breaths. Still squeezing and lifting the pelvic floor, bringing the energy to the pelvis. Five, inhale to come up. Still inhaling as we pivot. Exhale, folding over the left. Ideally, one breath for movement. Once again, lengthening the head down, sending the left hip back, breathing deeply. Five, inhale, coming up, exhale, and release, Sama Sikihi. All right, we're going to move on to some of our balancing postures. I'm just going to face forward so you can see what I'm doing. So first option is you can catch your right knee, and you can stay here standing and just find your balance. Next option is you catch your toe, leg is still bent, but you're still trying to find the balance. Next progression is straight leg, and you hold with a straight spine, or you're going to fold, bringing the leg up, and you're going to fold five breaths here. So find your balance. Find which one you want to choose to work on today as you progress to the full uh, posture. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, rotating the leg out to the side. You can keep gazing forward. Or you're going to slowly switch your gaze to the left. I'm going to keep gazing forward. Five breaths here. Standing strong. Inhale, come back to center slow. Exhale, hollow fold if you can. Inhale, head up only. Point the toes. Don't release the leg. Hands on the waist. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Grow tall. Press down into the big toe. Draw the leg into the socket. And five. Release. Let's go for the other side. Right hand on the right waist. Inhale, catch the left. Remember your modified versions. Exhale, fold and touch. Five breaths here. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, rotate the leg out to the side, switching the gaze to the right, or you can keep gazing forward. Find the balance first. Find the Sama Sipihi here, so stand tall. Five, inhale, center. Exhale, hollow back, fold. Inhale, head up, point the toes, hands on the waist. Five more breaths here. Five, Sama Sipihi. All right, Ardha Bada Padma Adhatanasana. On an inhale, we're going to catch the right foot into our half Padmasana position. And you can stay right here. You can also catch your arm or you catch your foot and stay. You may also do a nice figure four flexing the foot. Maybe if you don't have hip flexibility yet, you can still stay standing. Or we can do no lotus. And just do a tree opening the hip out to the side and just find your bounce. So option one, 
Option two. Option three. Or we're going to exhale and fold. Remember, we can bring both hands down or just the left. So option one, drop the head. Or option two, find which one that works for you. You can always progress with time. Slowing and deepening the breath. One more breath here. Inhale, head up. Look forward. Exhale there. So I'm going to press into my standing leg to come up. Slight bend. Hold your posture and then exhale to release. All right. Other side. Remember your options. Figure out which one you want to do first. Then inhale, lift the left leg. Stay here standing. Find the balance first. Or we exhale, fold forward. Draw the head in. Breathe five times. Remember, you can bring both hands down also. Five. Inhale, head up. And exhale there. Bend into the knee slightly. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. Sama so Sivihi, come back to the top of the mat. We're going to do a vinyasa, resetting the spine and the body. Yay, yeah, come. Inhale, reach. Okay, exhale, folding four. Head in. Inhale, tree knee head up. Lift the chest. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, upward facing, point your toes. Exhale, hips up, downward face. All right, Utkatasana. So for fun, let's learn how to jump to the front of the mat or float. So first, we're going to get onto our tippy toes. On an exhale, you're going to squat back. Inhale, come back up to your downward facing position. So do that a few times. Exhale to squat. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, come back up. Now we're going to add a jump. Our fingertips are the brakes. So tippy toes. Exhale, squat. Inhale, little hop. So we're using our mat as like a little springboard. Exhale, use the breath. Squat back. Inhale, jump. Hips up, straight legs. Do that a few times. Exhale. Inhale. Now we're going to progress by moving the feet by the hands. Look between the hands, exhale, squat back, use the breath, inhale, jump the feet forward. You can step back, do it one more time. Exhale, squat back, inhale, jump the feet forward. All right, let's all do it together one more time, and then we'll go to our Utkatasana, our chair pose position. Exhale, squat back, inhale, jump the feet. Bend into the knees, reach up five breaths here. So if it is uncomfortable pressing the palms, you can add a slight gap between the hands and then work towards the hands pressing. Otherwise, we're lifting from the chest, we're pressing down, breathing deeply. Five, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up. For today, we're going to step or you can jump back from here. Lowering down. Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving on to our Vida Bhadrasana, our warriors. You're going to step your right foot forward for warrior one. You're going to pivot the back heel. Inhale, reach up, five breaths here. Sending your right knee forward, pressing into the back foot, lifting from the chest. Pressing the palms. Find that slow, full, deep breathing. Five. Inhale. Keep gazing up. Pivot the feet. Exhale. Bend into the left. Square the hips and shoulders first. Keep breathing. Straight arms if you can. Keep reaching and lifting from your heart. 
five, B, open the arms out to the side. Your right hip goes back, find the center. Keep reaching through your fingertips. Shoulders melting from the ears. Navel in, ribs in. Five, inhale, straighten the leg, pivot. Exhale, bend to the right. Five more here. Five. Exhale, hands down. So cartwheel the hands down. You can jump back. You can just step back the foot, set up your high plank, then exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, hips up, downward facing. All right, we're going to transition to the floor. Look between the hands. You can step the top of the foot and then the top of the foot and cross. Bring the hips down. Straight legs out in front of you. I'll show you some other versions after this. Dandasana, preparing. Uh oh! All right, preparing for our seated positions. Hands pressing right next to the hips. Just engaging the legs, flex the toes. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck the chin. Navel in, ribs in. Press into the floor. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there. Take your big toes. First two fingers and thumb, even if you need to bend your knees. Wrap it around. Inhale here. Lift the chest. Navel in. Ribs in. Exhale. Folding forward. Reaching the head towards your toes. Focusing on that full deep breathing. Breath like ocean waves. Strong and fluid. Relaxing into the posture. Five. Inhale. Head up. Exhale there. Take it deeper. See if you can grab the sides of your feet. If you can go deeper, you grab your fingertips or the wrists. Inhale here. Exhale, fold five more breaths. Paschimottanasana. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there, release. All right, we're going to do some jump backs and jump throughs or step backs and step throughs. So first, let's do a step back. So we're going to bring the feet, the sides of the feet, into the body, the tops of the feet. If you know how to jump back, you can do that as well. Knees into the body. Hands go forward. I'm going to press into the mat to lift my hips. And then I can step back from there, lower down. Or I can use the mat as a springboard and jump the feet to a high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. All right, now we're going to step through. We'll do the jump through on the next one. So once again, you can use the top of the foot. The top of the foot. Bring the hips down. Straight legs out in front of you and come back to your stamasitihi of the seated postures, which is our dandasana position. And when we get to more of the jump throughs and jump backs, you can also omit some and just sit in this position and breathe as an option. Just so you can build up your endurance and your strength. All right. Purva tanasana. So bring your big toes together. Your legs are spiraling inward and squeezing together. So even just for a moment, you want to squeeze your legs together. Feel that activation. Hands stack right underneath your shoulders. Fingertips are pointing forward for this one. On an inhale, you're going to lift the hips, puff up the chest, and drop your head back. So use your breath. Inhale up. 
five more breaths. Five, exhale down. All right, bring your legs into your body. Remember, we can step back. We can also jump back. I like to use momentum. So hands in front of the hips. When my head and chest go forward, my hips are going to go back. And I use my breath. I inhale. And then I exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Engage the legs. Exhale, hips up. Downward face. Gaze towards the navel. Ardha Bada Padma Bashi Matanasana. Sakta step or jump your feet forward. So just like we did from standing, you can squat back and you can bring the feet flat and then bring your bottom down as another option, straight legs. We're gonna take our right foot into a half Padmasana position. Let me show you from this direction. So you can either A, take a nice figure four and you can stay here. You can bring both hands forward, full. If you have really tight hips, you can do your Ardha Bada, which is our half Padmasana. And let's say we don't have the bind yet, but you can still act like you're binding and fold, or you can take a strap or towel and fold. So five version works for you, and stay here for five breaths. One. Two, two into that breath. Three. Focus on pushing all the air out. Empty the breath. Four. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale out all the air first. Then release. Option one, sit in Dandasana. Breathe. Option two, you do your Vinyasa. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, hips up, downward face. Other side. Stepping or jumping forward. Straight legs. Left foot in. Remembering your options. Take your bind. You can also bring both hands forward and do that figure four. Just listen to your body and do not force it. Exhale as you fold. Five breaths. Softening into the posture. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there. Release. Vinyasa, cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Lift the chest, engage the legs. Exhale, hips up, downward face. All right, next posture. Tidianga Mukha, Ekapada, Pashimatanasana. Sapta, step or jump through. So if you are proficient, you can start learning how to jump into the posture completely. So I'll show you that. So I exhale, squat back. I'm going to bend my right leg and send my left leg forward. So that is one option. Second option is your regular jump through or step through. So let's just say I'm not doing that today. Straight legs, and then I fold back my right leg. Now we don't wanna be sitting on the leg. We want the hips down onto the mat. Knees comfortably close. If you need a little bit of a gap, you do that. Your calf muscle is rolled out. Your heel is touching your glute. Nice straight spine. So let's say you need extra space on your knee. You can roll up a towel. You can use a block just to give you some of that extra space. So inhale here and then exhale, folding forward. Catch your foot wherever you can reach. Drop your head. Five breaths here. One, two, three. Four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, push all the air out, release, 
All right, we can jump from this position or we can cross our legs, jump back. We can also step back. Remember, we can also just sit in Dandasana and wait for the next side. So let's try to jump out of it. So I'm going to press the top of my foot down. I'm going to lift my left leg and press into my hands. Easier said than done, right? Inhale, lift. Exhale, clear the foot. Come to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, hips up, downward face. Stepping or jumping through for the other side. Inhale here. Exhale, folding forward. Five more breaths. One. Two, if you find your mind wandering, come back to your breath. Three. Four. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there, push the air out first, then release. You can cross your legs, jump back, or jump from this position. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. All right, Janu Shurshasana A, head to knee posture, Sapta step or jump through. On an inhale, straight legs first. Right leg, bring it in like a little 90 degree angle. Your foot's touching the internal thigh, your torso is going towards the straight leg. We inhale here. Exhale, fold forward, catch wherever you can reach, and drop your head. Focus on that breathing. Connecting with your body, feeling what's going on inside. Five, inhale, head up, exhale there, release. Remember, Nandasana, just breathe. Take it easy or take your vinyasa. Keep that heat pumping. Inhale, pick up, exhale, lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha, exhale, Adha Mukha, downward face. All right, other side, look between the hands first. Inhale, jump through. Step is an op option as well, left foot in. Exhale, folding forward. Drop your head. Keep your foot nice and engaged so you're flexing the toes towards you. And with every exhale, you're softening into the posture. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there, push the air out. Release. Take your vinyasa, cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, linking the breath with the movements. Exhale, downward face. All right, Janushashasana B. Sapta, step or jump through. On an inhale, straight legs. So we're going to set up just like we would for Janushashasana A. Right foot into our internal thigh. Toes are pointing forward. You're going to pick up the hips and sit onto your heel. You can also repeat A as an option. Exhale, folding forward. So now the leg is about an 85 degree angle. And with time and practice, you'll understand where these positions of the body need to be during your practice. And of course, with the guidance of a qualified teacher helps as well. Drop your head, breathe deeply. We're trying to empower you so that you can have a home practice that you can keep with you for the rest of your life. This is a lifetime practice. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale there, release your posture. All right, take your vinyasa. Remember, you can always sit in Dandasana and just breathe. Inhale to pick up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, other side. Inhale, step or jump. Straight legs. Left foot in. 
Pick up the hips, sit onto the heel, exhale, folding forward. Five more breaths, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale there. Release your posture. Take your vinyasa. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Janu Shirshasana C, Sapta step or jump through. Actually, we need to do both sides. We're going to pick up the hips, sit on the heel, exhale, folding forward. Five more breaths here. So, with your Janu Shirshasanas, take your five deep breaths here now. With your shasanas, the head to knee postures, we want to stay focused on the breathing. We want to stay lifting into the pelvic floor. And in every single posture, we want to stay very focused. So that's mainly what we're trying to do here is we're trying to train our minds. All right. So after our five breaths, you inhale head up, exhale there, and then we're going to move on and do jhana shasana C. Take your vinyasa. So remember, another nice option is you can bring the legs in and you're going to roll onto the hands and to the knees. And then you can step back from there. High plank or drop the knees and then exhale lower. Inhale upward. Exhale down. Step through. Or jump through. Straight legs. And now onto our John C. We're going to take the right toes down to the mat. I like to catch my toes from underneath my calf muscle, draw the knee back at an angle, and bring the toes down to the mat. Your instep is molded to your internal thigh, and you're going to shift the weight forward, and then exhale, folding forward. Drop your head, breathe here. Another option is repeating A or B until we get that nice opening. So with keep breathing here for five breaths. So with this particular posture, we're opening up the Achilles tendon, the calf muscle here, and also the hip. So all of these postures build on each other. And once we can understand the postures in our own bodies, then it's easier to link that breath with that movement. And especially when we've been practicing with a qualified teacher for many years, you start feeling the more energetic side of it versus just the physical side. All right, inhale, head up, exhale there, release. Remember your dandasana, you can sit and breathe, or you're going to take a vinyasa. So cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up in any way. You can step, you can jump, find the flow. Exhale, lower, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, hips up, downward facing. All right, look between the hands, stepping or jumping through. Straight legs, and then left foot in. Toes down to the mat. In step, mold it to the inner thigh. Exhale, folding forward. I want you to press that foot into your internal thigh to create a little uh, less tension on your toes. Drop your head. Focus on your breathing. See how slow and deep you can breathe. And five, inhale, head up. Exhale out all the air. Release. Vanyasa time. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down. All right, Marichasana A. Sapta, step or jump through on an inhale. Straight legs. And then we're going to bring our right knee, hug it into your body. There's a hand with space between the foot and the thigh. We're going to reach the right hand through, wrap it around, and then take our bind. Fingertips, wrist, strap or towel. Exhale, fold. Drop your head towards the straight leg. Keep the straight leg also nice and engaged, and you're flexing your toes. Two. 
three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, out all the air. Release. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go for the other side. Inhale, step or jump through. Straight legs, left knee up now. Inhale, reach the hand through. Exhale, fold, drop the head. Breathe here, five more breaths. One, reaching the chest through. Two, three, you can bring your chin down or even the forehead down. Four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, let all the air, release, cross your legs, inhale, pick it up, or remember we can step, lift the hips, jump back from here, step back from here, exhale, lower, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Right, stepping or jumping through. All right. So with your marichasanas, we're gonna do marichasana B here in a moment. And so when we're doing both sides, try to think about grounding first. So we're squeezing the sit bones together and we're lifting the pelvic floor at the same time. So always keep the energy in the pelvis. So when we move on to our more difficult postures, they're gonna build on from here. So we wanna get our marichasanas down. So once we do both of our sides, we go on to a B for time restraints. You could either A, work on just hip flexibility, and you bring your left foot in, maybe like a figure four, and you can stay right here, holding. You can also work on this as homework and lie on your back. Nice little figure four, opening up the hip. Otherwise, we're gonna take a half Padmasana, which is the left foot in, right knee up, and you're gonna reach the right hand through, wrap it around, take your bind, exhale, fold. Five breaths there, or remember we can stay here with a straight spine and work on that opening up the hip. Two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, push the air out, then release, take your vinyasa, cross your legs, inhale, pick it up, or you can sit in Dandasana and breathe. Exhale, lower, inhale, upward. Exhale, downward face. Other side, inhale, step or jump through, straight legs. And now we're gonna go for the other side, which is right foot in, half Padmasana, left knee up. Remember your options, you can work on the hip flexibility. Another nice option is doing no lotus and just threading the foot under, if you can see that. Just thread the foot under instead of doing the lotus, and you can still do the folding. This will not help you open up the hip, but it's a nice uh, option otherwise. So we can stay here, five breaths. Five, inhale, head up, exhale, push the air out, and then we release. Vanyasa time, cross the legs, inhale to pick up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward face. All right. Where are we at? Mari Chasana C. Sapta. On an inhale, you're going to step your feet or jump to seated. The top of the mat, straight legs out in front. Just like A, we're going to draw the right knee, hug it into your body. So we're going to do a twist. So instead of folding forward, we're going to take our twist. So you can take your left hand and just wrap it around, and there's your twist. Lifting on the inhales, 
twisting on the exhales, trying to gaze behind you. Otherwise, we're gonna lean back, left hand, bring the shoulder on the outside of the arm. And then try to walk your hand closer to your spine. You can see if you can wiggle the hand back and you can stay right here. Otherwise, you catch your other hand and gaze behind you. Keep your leg engaged, foot is flexed. On the inhales, we're lengthening, exhale, twist. Find which version works for your body for today. One more breath here. Five, inhale, look to the front. Exhale there, release. Take your vinyasa or sit in dandasana. Cross your legs, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, step or jump through to seated. Straight legs, left knee up. Right arm now, wrap, gaze behind you. Right arm, cross over, gaze behind you, or you take your mind. Five breaths, find your twist. Full deep breathing. Slow deep breathing. Five. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale there. Release. Take your vinyasa. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, hips up, downward face. All right, we're going to work on in a D, Sapta, step or jump on an inhale, straight legs. All right, so just like B, remember we have our options. We can do no lotus or we can do a figure four. So I'll give you those options now. We're going to take our left foot in, have Padmasana right knee up. Take your bind, exhale. Well, actually, that's B. We're going to take the left hand, excuse me. And we're going to wrap it around just like we did with C. So it's a kind of a combination of C and D. Take the twist or you can bring the shoulder on the outside. I personally like when we don't have the full extent as far as catching, just to hug the leg and close the space, bring it into the body, lift the chest, and then try to twist the gaze behind you. Of course, we want to try the bind eventually with time. And it may or may not come today, and that's okay. Inhale, lift the left hand up. We're bringing the shoulder on the outside, and you can stay right here. Or you're going to wiggle, wiggle the hands back, and maybe we catch. You can also use a strap or a towel if you can see that from there. And then inhale, we're lengthening. And then exhale, twisting and gazing behind. So once you're breathing here for your five breaths, Try to breathe more to your upper back and upper chest so you're not trying to breathe in your belly. And five, look to the front. Exhale there and release. Take your vinyasa, cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lowering down. Chaturanga, inhale to upward facing. And then exhale, downward facing. Look between the hands, step or jump through to seated. Straight legs and let's go for the other side. We're gonna do our twist. Now we're taking our right foot in, half Padmasana, left knee up. Remember, you can do no lotus, and you can also do a figure four and do your twist from here. If you have your twist, or if you have your lotus, right arm crosses over to the left. Left hand, close to the small of the back. Straight spine lifting on the inhales. Maybe you can wiggle the hand back. See where you're at today. Maybe you catch, maybe you don't. Either way, you're still good. Gaze behind you and breathe. Soften your face. Act like you're looking at a sunset. Five, look between, look in the front. Exhale there, and then we release. Taking our vinyasa. Inhale, pick up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, Navasana, everyone's favorite. Boat pose, step or jump on an inhale. 
So we're going to come to our boat pose, which I like to either keep the legs bent, arms parallel, or you start to straighten. You don't want your boat to sink. So keep the chest lifted, keep the arms parallel. Five breaths here, squeeze the legs together, gaze at your toes, two, three, four, five. Cross your legs, lift up the hips, or lift up the hips, or lift up the hips, and then come back. Five more breaths, one, two, lift the chest, three, Four, five, cross your legs, inhale, lift, Navasana, three, one, two, three, four, five, cross your legs, inhale, lift, Navasana, four, Five, inhale, lift, last one, Navasana. You're going to be so strong after this. Chest is lifted, squeeze and lift your pelvic floor. And last one. All right, so pick it up and we're going to do a vinyasa from here. So we inhale, pick up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. All right, so ideally that would be half primary or half of the Ashtanga sequence. Um, today we're going to go up a little bit further. Uh, but I'm going to give you some nice modified versions just so we can work up towards it. Right, so Buji Pindasana is the next posture. So come to your downward facing position. Option one, step the right foot on the outside of your right hand, step the left foot on the outside and squat. You can stay right here. Otherwise, you can also jump the feet, squat down and wiggle the feet to the front. And you can stay right here with the feet down. Otherwise, you're gonna cross your feet with the feet lifted and stay right there. Or you progress by bending the elbows and bringing the chin down or the top of the head down. Five breaths here. Five. So coming up, we're going to go to Titi Basana. We're straightening the legs, then Bakasana, and then jump back. Inhale upward. Exhale down. Some of you may be looking at me like I'm not doing that, and that is okay. We got to start somewhere. So after every posture, you may also just do your regular jump back and jump through, and with time, uh, you can learn the other transitions. So you can also cross the legs, step back, and lower down. Right? Let's move on to our gateway postures, Kurmasana and Supta Kurmasana. So once again, you can jump your feet. You can step, step, squat, or you can jump through or step and bring the legs out. I'm going to do it from this position just so you can see what I'm about to do. So let's say you jump through, your shoulders on the inside. First step is you can catch your ankles and start sliding your heels so that you come down to your turtle pose, tortoise pose. So stay where your limit is. Remember, if you're in a lead primary class and you're not practicing these postures, you can watch asana or watch, get inspired, 
learned some of the mechanics just by looking into the class and just sitting and then joining up later. Or you can actually try to give it a go to where your abilities are at the moment without forcing yourself. And that is the point. And that never force yourself in any of these postures. It's more important to walk than to push yourself into a posture that your body's not ready for. So catch your ankles first. Slide the heels. Slide them away from you. You can even wiggle your bottom back. And you can stay right here. Otherwise, you walk your hands back with the palms facing down. And then start sliding the heels more, bringing the collarbones, chest towards the mat. Flex the feet. Five breaths here. One. Two. Maybe the heels lift. Three. Maybe the bottom lifts. Four. Five. You can stay right here for another five breaths. Or bring the heels up. Wiggle the feet together. Catch your hands behind your back and drop your head toward your feet. And with time, we can cross the ankles over your neck. But with, right now, just stay where you're at and breathe here. You can also use a strap or towel behind your back. Five, hands down. Take it up. We're going to lift from here. Straighten the legs. Hips go up as my face goes down. And I bring my heels to my glutes. And then I'm going to shoot my legs back for Chaturanga. On an exhale, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. So some of these postures need a lot of breaking down. We have to learn the mechanics we also have to do these postures over and over and over again. And it's a lot of failing. It's a lot of doing something and not doing it correctly at the beginning. And that's okay. The more we get acclimated, the more our body gets the muscle memory. We kind of just breathe and go into the posture. We're not thinking about, oh, I need to do this, this, and this. So right now, we're just going to flow through the rest. And maybe in some upcoming videos, we can break down the postures in a little bit more detail. All right. So those are the gateway postures. Um, Garvey Pindasan is also kind of a gateway posture, which is next. So I'm going to, of course, show you some modified versions. So let's say we did our jump back, jump through. We're in our downward facing position. And now we're going to jump through on an inhale, up, up. Straight legs. First, we take our right foot in, then the left foot for a lotus. And remember, never forcing the joints, never forcing the lotus. You may just do a nice little crisscross for today and just hold the legs into the body. Or maybe you have the Padmasana, but we can't thread the hands through. So the little space between my ankle and my uh, other ankle I thread my right hand through and I bring my hand up. Other side, thread through, down, and up. Sometimes we squirt a little bit of water there or our practice, we're really sweaty and it goes right through. So we can stay here five breaths and you're gazing at the tip of the nose as you catch your face. Remember, you also stay right here and just find the balance and just find that fluid breathing. And then after our five breaths there, without moving, we're going to start our rocking. So ideally, it's between five rolls, six, seven, some, I've seen eight or nine rolls as well. We're going to roll counterclockwise. You can also just roll up and down. So I'll show you that. You can do this. And we're using the breath. Exhale back. Inhale up. You can do this. Or we can try our rocking. So if you have your legs, just use the legs. And kind of use the breath as you roll around in the circle. So I'm going to do it my version. And then you can do it your version if you like.
Now then Kukatasana, lift up, press, and gaze forward, five breaths here. One, stay there, two, three, four, and five. So we're in our Kukatasana, ideally, holding and lifting. And then we can jump back from that position or we can undo our lotus and jump back. Or we can come onto the knees and bring the elbows into the tummy and kind of like a teeter-totter, you're gonna lean forward, face towards the mat to lift the hips. Inhale upward and then exhale downward face. All right. One of my favorites coming up, Baddha Konasana, Sapta step or jump through on an inhale. Straight legs, exhale there. I'll show you from this direction. All right, bring the outer edges of your feet together. Open it up like a book. Inhale here, straight spine for the pelvis. So I'm lifting on the inhales and then exhales unfolding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, folding. And my knees, they may be up here. They may be down here. They may be touching. It doesn't matter. We want to create the flow of the breath to go into the posture deeper to where we're at for today. So we're here for five breaths, lengthening and softening. If your elbows touch your legs, you can softly guide them down. Five, inhale, come up. Exhale there, stay here, but just start rounding your spine. So straightening the arms, hollowing the navel in, rounding the spine. Let's see if we can see from this direction. Round the spine. Exhale, head towards your toes. Five breaths here. One, two, three. Four, five, inhale, coming up, exhale there, and release. Take your vinyasa, cross your legs, inhale to pick up, exhale lower, inhale upward facing, and exhale downward face. Uttavisha Konasana, we're going to jump with the legs out very wide. On an inhale, we jump. Legs out. You can also just jump through and then bring your legs out. Flex your feet. So the toes are pointing towards you. You're going to grab the outside of your legs or your feet. Inhale here. Exhale, folding forward. Five breaths here. One. Stay where your limit is, too, and breathe into it. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, coming up. We're going to release the hands from the feet. We're going to lean back, and then we're going to bring the legs up. Catch. Point the toes. Lift. You're lifting up, but pressing down. Five, release, cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Remember, you can also step back and lower down to your chaturanga position. Remember, you can also come all the way down to the belly and then inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. All right. Stop the stepper, jump on and inhale for the next posture. And exhale, lie down onto your back. Use the breath as you lie down. Sukta Konasana, on an inhale, lift the legs up, over your head, and then bring them out. Catch your big toes. Five breaths here. Catch wherever you can reach. Ideally, your hips stacked over your shoulders. Legs out wide. We're going to rock up to seated using the breath and land softly onto the calves. We have to pull onto the big toes to make that happen. All right, five breaths here. Inhale, use the breath to rock up. 
pull onto the toes, pull. Exhale there. Inhale, head up. Exhale and release, cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. All right, Sukta Paramustasana, Sakta step or jump through on an inhale. Exhale, lie down onto your back. Bring your left hand on your left hip, and you're going to catch your right big toe. On an inhale, you're going to lift your chest up to touch your leg or head in that direction. Inhale up. One, two, Three, lift the shoulder blades. Four, five, inhale, head down. Exhale, rotate the leg to the right and look to the left, just like that balancing posture we did. Five more breaths. So the, the goal is not to put the leg down all the way to the floor. We want our hips to be stable and balanced and just reach the leg out to where it feels appropriate to your body. Keep the leg over here nice and engaged and five inhale to the front exhale lift touch inhale head down and then exhale release the leg Press. one two three four five inhale head down exhale release your posture all right, option one, you can gently rock yourself up to seated. Or you can push yourself up to seated and take a vinyasa from here. Or traditionally, we would do chakrasana, which is a backward somersault. If you haven't done this, um, you could just watch for today. I prefer some of these things to be taught with a teacher. So first we lie down. And we have to use our momentum. Exhale lower. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward face. Inhale step or jump through to seated. Straight legs, exhale, lie down onto your back. Ubaya Paragustasana, on an inhale, lift both legs up over your head and bring them over, catch your big toes. And then on an inhale, we rock up to seated. I like to use my toes as leverage to rock. Inhale up. Find the balance, point the toes, lift the chest, gaze up. Five breaths. And five, release. Cross your legs, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, step or jump through. Straight legs. All right. Exhale, lie down. Inhale, bring both legs up over the head. So you can repeat what we just did, catching the big toes, or we're going to catch the ankles this time and close the space. Inhale up. Find the balance first, and then... Bring the legs and body together. Gaze at the toes or just draw your face in. Remember, you could be right here. You could be right here just repeating or you close the space. Two, three. So I'm pushing down and lifting up. Three, four, five. Inhale, straight arms, gaze up. Exhale there. Push all the air out, release. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale to upward. Exhale, downward face. 
Inhale, step or jump through. Straight legs. And then we're going to move on to Sato Banasana. All right. So first we want a nice set up. Our feet, our outer edges of our feet. We create a little fish tail. So the outer edges of our feet are touching the mat. Our legs are engaged and we're creating a very large diamond. So we don't want our legs too close and we don't want them too far because we need the strength of our legs to lift our body up. So I'm going to show you a few options. Option one, you set up the legs, you lie down like you're doing a Matsyasana, you're lifting your chest and you bring the head down. And you can stay right here for a beginner, just stay right here and breathe. Another option is you're going to push and lift. You're going to use your mat. You can also hold your low back as an option. Traditional is crossing the hands over your chest, which this uh, particular version can come later if you have not been practicing this because you need to build the strength in your neck. So option one or any of the other options. And then inhale to come up. Use the legs. Squeeze the bum. Five breaths. One. Two, three, four, and five. Coming down. Slowly release. So remember, you can always do chakrasana if you've been practicing your back somersault, or you can sit up and rock up to seated and take a vinyasa from there. So remember, cross your legs, inhale to lift up. Exhale, step back, lower down. Inhale upward. And then exhale, downward face. Inhale, step or jump through to seated. So that would be the, one of the last postures of our primary series. And now we're going to move on to our Urva Dhanarasana, back bends and bridges. We always do, uh, at least in a lead class, uh, one set of three. Of course, when you do mice or practice, or if you're practicing at home, you can do more back bends. Sometimes I like to do six, nine back bends. So it could be more or less. So we start off with less, and then we gradually add on more. All right, so let's try for a moment our bridge position. And then you can repeat this, or I'll show you the back bending portion. So first we got to set up our bridge. Exhale, lie down onto your back. Bring your feet close to your body. Your toes are slightly pigeon-toed in just slightly. Your feet may be a little bit wider than your hips. So we're going to either press the palms into the mat, or when I lift up my hips, I'm going to interclass my hands. All right, inhale, lift the hips, squeeze the legs together. You can stay here or here. Five breaths. One. Shoulders touching the mat. Lifting. Two. Three. Four, five, coming down. So you can reset and do that two more times, or you can come to the top of the head, bring your elbows back, hands right next to the ears. On an inhale, you come up to the top of the head. You can stay right here, five breaths. Or the legs and the arms engaging at the same time to lift and push. And then I'm using my legs to send my chest towards the wall. Five breaths here. Three, four, five. Head down. See if you can walk your hands in. And then inhale, come up. Or you repeat your bridge. Two, three, four, and five. Coming down. And for me, after I do a bridge, maybe three back bends or one bridge and two back bends or Vedanarasana, I like to either lay completely flat. If you want to do a couple of extra back bends right now, you can finish out your practice. Otherwise, lay flat and just let your back kind of decompress here. Take a few breaths. Feeling the breath, move the body. 
slowing down the nervous system. If you'd like, you can also bring the knees into the chest and just give yourself a big hug just for a moment. Now, once again, traditionally, we could do chakrasana or back somersaults, or you can just gently push yourself up to seated and take a vinyasa from here. You can also just push yourself up to seated and stay in dandasana and wait for the next uh, posture. So a counter pose to our back bending is going to be uh, Pashimatanasana, a four fold. So you would do our vinyasa, cross your legs, jump back, step or jump, lower down, chakaraga, and then we're going to jump through, straight legs, and then we're going to catch either the big toes, the sides of the feet, fingertips or wrists. You can also use a strap or towel if you need to. Exhale, fold for 10 deep breaths. See if you can soften into it. Relaxing into the posture. Letting that back decompress. Ten. Inhale, head up. Exhale, all the air. Release. Take a vinyasa. Cross your legs. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward. Point the toes. You're on the tops of the feet. Lift the heart. Exhale, hips up, downward face. All right. Stop the step or jump through. Straight legs. And now we're moving on to the rest of our closing sequence, which is going to be a shoulder stand. And I'll show you some modified versions of this. And then we take our rest coming up. But first, we lie down on an exhale. On an inhale, we lift both legs up as one. But first, bring the legs together. There's a slight tilt in your pelvis. Your pubic bone goes towards your navel. You're hollowing out into the tummy area, and you're lengthening your low back to the mat. Your shoulder blades go underneath the body. On an inhale, you can lift your legs up and stay right here for a nice inversion, bringing the blood back down to the brain and to the heart. Or we lift up and we hold our low back or even the mid back, and we stack our feet and hips over the shoulders. Ideally, we can be here for 10 to 15 breaths. Keep looking up at the toes. Do not move the head from side to side. your 10 breaths halfway you interclass the hands or you can hold the low back your feet may not touch either if they do bring the tops of the feet down to the mat and stay there for another eight breaths glad we're in our halasana We will transition to Karni Pindasana. Let the knees drop by the ears or temples. And if it's there, give it a squeeze. You can hold your low back if you need to. You can also do the same thing lying on your back and just draw the legs down to the body if you want to do this nice version. From here, couch your low back. Inhale, rise your legs up. You're going to crisscross at the shins and keep the knees lifted. Or you're going to do right leg, then left for Padmasana, or even just right leg in. You can stay here, keeping the knees lifted, or you're going to catch your knees and push away. You're going to tuck the chin to the chest, and you're going to find balance. You can do the same thing. 
lying onto your back. Crisscross the legs, hug it into the body. After eight breaths there, you're going to do Pindasana. You're going to draw the knees in, and you're going to wrap your arms around. Embryo posture. Once again, you can do the same thing, lying onto your back, hugging the legs into the body. Instead of staying on the shoulders, we can start off with this and work our way up to the other positions. So after eight breaths there, in our Pindasana, bring the hands down, and we're going to slowly unravel. Knees close to the body, and then we're going to lift the chest and draw the head towards the mat. Keep lifting the chest up. You can catch your toes, you can catch your inner thighs, or keep the hands pressing toes. If we do not have Padmasana, you can do crisscrossing the legs. Eight deep breaths here. Eight to ten breaths. And then we're going to go for Uttana Padasana. So keep your head there. Straighten out the legs. So if you want, you can just start with the arms. And then eventually with time, we do both legs and the arms. Eight breaths here. And release. So we either do our chakrasana, or you can rock up to seated and run through your cycle vinyasa from there. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward face. All right, sheer shasana, our headstand position. So I say headstand and everyone gets scared. But once you're in headstand, it's very effortless. Um, it's a lot of shoulder strength. So we need to use the muscles of our lats, our latissimus dorsi. We need to push away from the mat to make sure that there's a space between our ears and our shoulders. And we're using the strength of our shoulders and we're not dumping all the way down to our neck. So we have to be very mindful of that. So even if you don't come up to headstand, uh, you can do a nice modified version. And I'm going to show you that right now. So first, come onto the hands and to the knees. You're going to bring your forearms down to the mat. You're going to catch your biceps or your elbows. And then you're going to interclasp your hands. I like to leave a little bit of a gap just so my head can go there. Some people like it completely squeezed together. You're going to have to play with that and see what feels better to you. Top of the head, top of the triangle. You just created a triangle. Head down. Tuck your toes, lift the hips, walk your feet. You're going to stack the hips over the shoulders. You can stay here. You can also lift the head and stay here. Or the next progression is you're going to walk, walk, walk until you get tired. And then you drop the knees and you reset. Next step is you're going to bring one knee up to your chest. And the other knee to the chest. Ay, ay, ay. All right. All right, so let's come up to our headstand, or you stay with whatever we were just doing, which is just focusing on pushing the mat away. So you are pushing the mat away, kind of like a cat and cow. So you know how we do our cat and cow where we're rounding the back, the rounding the spine, that cat and cow? Okay, that's the same action that we need when we're in our headstand, our shirshasana. So catch, set it up, and go slowly when you come up. Never rush. You do not want to jump. That is another thing. Never jump. We want to gain the strength to press up or to tuck up. So find your setup. Head down. Press the mat away, tuck the toes. 
walk, walk, walk the feet. You can tuck up, you can stay here, stay here, or you come all the way up, or you just lift the legs with time, and you stay here. Try to stay as long as you can, of course. You can also use a wall behind you. So I'm pressing into the shoulders, the forearms. I'm focusing on my breathing. So ideally, we're going to stay here for 15 breaths. Some teachers teach it for longer, 25 breaths. But we work our way up to that. Right now, traditionally, it's been taught for 15 breaths here. And then we do our Arda halfway. So I'm hollowing my navel. My bottom goes back. And we're going to stay here for another 10 breaths or so. Remember, you can still keep working on the other aspects of it. And then we come back to the straight leg. And then for today, we're just going to slowly come down with control. You can bring the knees into the chest and come down if you'd like. And then stay in child's pose. Reach your hands forward. Drop your head. Breathing to that upper back, that upper chest. Letting the nervous system calm back down. Letting the blood rush back to the rest of the body. One more breath. And then slowly come back up. Come to tabletop. Remember, you can always lower from your knees. Or you're going to set up your high plank your, or your chataranga. So I tuck my toes. I flex my heels back, but I send my chest forward. So I'm lining up. And then exhale, shoulders, or excuse me, chest is opening as my elbows go back. Inhale upward. Lifting the chest, gaze up at the tip of the nose. Exhale, hips up. All right, we're going to move on to the last three closing postures of the Ashtanga primary series. Step or jump through on an inhale. I'm gonna do it from this direction. All right, so find either a nice crisscross in the legs. You can also do half Padmasana, right leg in, or right and left for your full Padmasana. We're gonna take the bind behind the back. That could be your elbows, your wrists, or we catch the toes. Inhale here, lengthen and grow tall. Vada Padmasana. Exhale, fold for 10 breaths for Yoga Mudra. Drop the head. So if you have trouble catching your elbows and folding forward from here, as a good starting point, of course, eventually with time you'll bind, because it's bada binding, you can reach your hands forward and try to walk your hands forward and drop your head as a nice option. Otherwise, we go for the traditional posture and we're here for 10 breaths. Let's do five more. One, two, three, Four, and five. Inhale, coming up. So that's 10 breaths there. Exhale there. Jhana mudra, index finger and thumb touching. Other three fingers are palms facing up with the fingers straight. Inhale and lengthen, grow tall. Exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest. Your navel and your ribs go in. You're slightly tilting the pelvis. You're lifting your pelvic floor. You're squeezing the bathroom muscles. Like you have to go to the bathroom, but you don't want to go to the bathroom. That is the sensation or action that you're using. Your chin is flush with your chest. The back of your neck is nice and stretched. Your spine is nice and straight. 
find that position and in all the postures find the position and then do not fidget stay and breathe so we're not only training our bodies we're training our minds to find the comfortableness in the uncomfortableness Gaze softly at the tip of the nose or gaze down. Feeling inside of your body. One more breath here. Inhale, head up. Exhaling there. Uplutihi. Uproot your lotus or your crisscross legs. So we're gonna place the hands in front of the hips, lift the knees up towards the chest. As my head goes forward, I'm gonna push into the mat. So inhale, lift, 10 breaths here. One, two, you can do the same thing with one leg, three, or both legs, four, or both legs, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten come all the way down all right we're going to take one more vinyasa and then we're going to take rest Stepping or jumping through. And turning around to lie down. Some people like to use a blanket, a towel, a pillow, something to cover their face, something to support their neck. If you're at home, take advantage of this. So ideally you wanna stay in your Shavasana or taking rest, I should say, for at least three minutes. Palms facing up, shoulder blades underneath your body. Let your feet flop out to the side. Come back to normal breathing. Let go of the Ujjayi breath. Soften your face. Unclench the jaw. Let the shoulders soften. Let your hands relax. Wrists, fingertips. Find stillness. Thank you. 
then slowly, slowly, come out of your Shavasana. You can take a nice stretch. <sighs> you did it. You did your practice. Nice, gentle, rocking if you like. Happy baby. Any extra movements that feel good to your body to make your practice feel complete. Roll into your right side. And then slowly push yourself up to seated. The light within me honors and respects the light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for letting me share this wonderful practice for you. Remember, to practice is to nourish yourself. Namaste. Say hi.